find the volume of the cone. This is a cone, and we have a slant height of 241.09 decimeters, and we have, let's just rotate it so we can just see the base. Okay, so now we're looking at the base up through the, the center of the cone, and the diameter of the base is 138 decimeters. And let's rotate the shape so we can see. So I'll put the bottom of the cone on the bottom of the shape like that. Let's look at it as at it as a solid. Okay, and we can see the slant height here. And if we rotate it, we can also see the height. So the height of the cone is 231 decimeters. Um, and there we go. So that's all the information we need to find the volume. The volume of a cone is a lot. Uh, is very similar to the formula of the volume of a cylinder. It's like the volume of the cylinder is area of the base times height. Now, a cone having the same height would be area of the base times height, but divided by three. So the volume of a cone would be one third of the volume of a cylinder having the same height and diameter. So the volume of a cone is area of the base times height divided by three. Now, the base, it's a circle. Let's just put that in solid so we can see what that looks like. So the base is circular, and so the area of a circle is pi r squared. So we're going to say, we're going to rewrite that formula using the circular formula. So the volume is pi r squared times height divided by 3. And the radius um, is going to be half the diameter. The diameter is 138 decimeters. So the radius is going to be 69 decimeters. And so pi times 69 squared times the height, which is 231 decimeters divided by 3. And that gives us this nice big huge number, 1,151,698.44203, and this is rounded, by the way, in decimeters cubed. Okay, So you want to round to like five decimal places. Since you're dealing with pi here, and you're also dividing by three, but since you're dealing with pi, uh, these will tend to be, th these will all be um, decimals that go on forever. Okay, These will be irrational numbers, okay, which the, they don't terminate, they don't repeat, it just keeps going. So you want to round your, de your answer to about four or five decimal places. OK, so that's our answer. And we're going to enter that here. Let me round that. And decimeters cubed. OK, and there we go. And that's it. Have a good day.